Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Deborah Cameron and again, I'm delighted to have you here today to talk further about the phenomenon of the warrior maiden within. Now today we're going to be focusing a little bit more on the warrior mind, okay? Um, I have found over all the years of my clinical practice the following teachings to be very, very true. For instance, I'd like you to think about the amount of time that you have spent in your mind, within your mind, the mind chatter, the monkey mind. We have up to 70,000 thousand thoughts in any one given day imagine that and I think for some people it can be far more than that I know that when I'm teaching Qigong that my students will say I'm having a hard time letting my mind slow down uh, I'm having a hard time giving myself permission to let my mind step aside can you relate to this I certainly can I know when there's a lot of tasks that I'm needing to focus on in the course of my day, that those thoughts can be very, very dominant and at times very necessary. But this is where we can really focus on the balance between the masculine and the feminine even more so. So I want to go back to my uh, example in the last video of the warrior woman. Now, I know a lot of the men that were, have watched this video would have related to this. So let's just say the warrior man, the warrior woman. And the concept of my emotional blueprint work really gets understood a lot more with this teaching. When we look at the fact that if I am highly task orientated and do, do and go, go, action orientated most of the time without dis having the time to discover my maiden, then I may very well have a perception that everything around me, certainly in the world of love, meaning my work, meaning my partner, even my family, could very well equate to the concept of love is performance or love is work. If I'm to love and be loved, this warrior must perform in order to earn the love that he or she feels they deserve. So then we're going to focus on the landscape of the conscious mind. The story that you tell yourself every day, whether in a previous vi video we discussed the concept of love is loss. Today we're looking at love is performance. And so what I would say to a client is take a moment to just close your eyes and imagine a physical landscape that is within your mind. This landscape mirrors love is performance. This is where your warrior resides perhaps most of the time. I know from many, many clients that I've worked with, that this tendency to perform can often be instilled within a child at a very early age. I expect you to do this. I expect, expect you to perform in a certain way, my child. I expect you to go on to university and achieve this, this, and this. Perhaps some of you can relate to this. So back to the landscape of the mind. This is not a very happy place. For in it, as described yesterday, can be this feeling of isolation, never getting the job done completely, 
There's always more to do. There's not enough time. And so I'm going to share with you a powerful landscape of the mind visual that a client gave me some time ago. It was a woman. So we'll just say again, the warrior woman. That she envisioned running cross country over very rough terrain, rough rocks, having to go up and down, jagged edged rocks and coming to the foot of a mountain and looking up that mountain and knowing that what she achieved was to achieve will in fact be at the top of that mountain. So then she saw herself climbing desperately and then all of a sudden the rain hit and there was a mudslide and she was brought back down again to the foot of the mountain. But she pushed herself to keep going. It was a dark and kind of dingy place. Some people have reported fog where they're not sure where they're going or they're not sure where they are sometimes. This is not to accent doom and gloom, but this is to very uh, um, profoundly, I feel, express to you the power that the mind has over us. And so I would ask this person, is this who you really are? Are you this person that must perform all the time? And she said to me, no, it isn't who I am really, but it's what I've always known. So, hence, I want you to picture your warrior within the landscape of the mind and imagine where you would rather this part of yourself be. And so this will lead us into the next video, the landscape of the heart. Because ultimately, we're looking for unification, not only between the warrior and the maiden, but also the merging of the mind and the heart as one. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment. Um, if you wish, I'd love to hear your comments. And do again visit my newly refreshed website, beyondemotionalblueprint.com. You can read more about the Warrior Maiden. I'm about to publish an article on the war Warrior Maiden. You'll be seeing that posted in the next couple of days. So thank you for visiting. I am absolutely thrilled to be here with you. And again, in this time of the landscape of the mind that our society has been in for such a long time, that male-dominated conscious place, I ask for you, especially over these next very, very important few days, to stay well, stay within your heart, and above all, trust. Thank you for coming by.